<laughs> what is up, everybody, and welcome to Super welcome Mario Welcome to Weird Sunshine. Noises with Spencer. Every noise Spencer makes is a weird noise. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, this is going to be another story time because Aiden and I live very uh, exciting lives. <laughs> totally. We want to we wanna show it to all of the people in our um, thing. So, Would you like to go first? Yeah, so... I think I feel like you have more stories than me. I do. So I'm I'll going to you. flex on everyone right off the bat and tell you all the story of my debate tournament last weekend. Ooh. So how our debate tournament works, right, is we have like two people on a team and you're supposed to debate the topic. They give you whether you're on the affirmative, which means like you're for the position, or the negative, which means you're against the position. And they basically just tell you like what stance you're taking and what team you're against. Um, it's going to be another team of two, like, right before the thing starts. And so I was supposed to go. I had my partner already. I had all my stuff ready. And right before the tournament, like, literally the day before, I get a call from my debate coach in the middle of class. And she's like, hey, your partner's sick. You're going to have to maverick, which basically just means, like, doing it alone. Sorry. So I'm like, frick. I All of my stuff that I had was, like, from my partner. She was supposed to... There are like two different times that you can speak, and uh, my partner was the first speaker, so she read off of her case file. Mm. So I had no idea what was going on. So I went in there and winged it, and there are six rounds each tournament for each team. Of course. <laughs> Aiden's providing a... I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. Wow, that sure is interesting. Anyway... Filled the pot, um, please. Thank you. <laughs> so it's like... Um... I went in there, and despite my uh, not knowing what to do, I just kind of winged it, and then I ended up winning the entire tournament uh, all alone without a partner, and I also got like the first place for what was called the Speaker Award, which is just like if you're a good speaker, or it's like individual people, not you can speak English. Good well, job. you don't Here's get the metal. intricacies of debating, Aiden. I into the cave. Oh, no, you can't go in there. Cave. All right, well, Aiden. That's it. Sometimes since, it's since you sell, since you uh, clearly aren't impressed, uh, tell your own story. I will tell my own story. Here we go. So, <clears throat> do you ever have like that one grandma, grandpa who sits around and does nothing but watch TV in his underwear? Because uh, no. I did. Still, I will do. He's not dead yet. I was gonna not Just, yet. He, he's getting there. Well. Everyone is. Anyway, well, so some some faster than others. He ticks off my grandma by sitting there and doing whoa, nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. And let me read you off. Well, from memory, the rotation of his shows. It goes American Pickers, Pawn Stars, Oh, so he's Crocodile Hunter. Guy. Yes, and like Storage Wars. Um, in okay, have you ever seen Storage Wars? I have. It's okay. just like fake. I'm pretty sure. My main grape was. I, I soon like realized that this, that this, yeah, um, I soon realized that this wasn't how it was, but I assumed they just went to random, like, storage places and sold people stuff, which, you know, kind of sounds illegal, but they're doing a TV show over it, so, let bygones be bygones, I guess. But anyway, so they're going in there, and they're like, hmm, so we get this chair, these three scarves, and we also found a Barbie doll. We're gonna make ten billion dollars. And that's more or less not how it goes, but it's definitely how it goes. In the... Uh, there, there we go. go. Jinx. You can't hit it. You can't throw that far. Exactly. Oh, he just dies. <laughs> that's... What the frick, frick is... Ooh, it's cool. Whoa! He <laughs> just... Into the horizon. Anyway, moral of the story is, if you watch any of those shows, you literally have it's the no entire good taste. story. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Well, my, this, that's not exciting. My grandpa sits around in his underwear and watches shows. If you watch those, it's shows, very exciting. Let me tell you more die. about my. Okay, let me tell you more about my grandpa. Since we're gonna keep going. Oh, I, um, I, I, I'm good. Too bad. I've heard too much too about bad. your grandpa. So my grandpa, uh, whenever oh, hey. I'm around him or anyone really. He comes up to you and squeezes your leg like this is like, oh, good. Don't squeeze like, my he's leg. He's like, <clears throat> <laughs> 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 like, no, Papa, you can not do that, and that'd be fun. 
And okay, and they had this dog <laughs> named Ellie who he led into the house by feeding her hot dogs, and ever since he's now his dog for some reason. <laughs> he's like, hey, 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 come over here. I'm like, oh, okay, Papa. He's like, punch me, punch me. I was like, what? Punch me, punch me, do it. <laughs> like, what? He's like, oh, go. Ellie, Ellie, <laughs> Ellie, come over here. <laughs> and the dog comes over there, and I punch him, and she's like, <laughs> She's like, hey, look, she, she exactly protects me. Like that. She protects me. Exactly. You, you're not there. You don't know. And anyway, she's just sitting there, biting everyone who punches my grandpa. And he thinks it's the funniest thing that's ever happened. And it's, yeah. We call that boomer humor. <laughs> Pretty much. And he grunts all the time, as you can tell. He's like, he sounds like the freaking <laughs> grandpa from the, the Gravity Falls. Well, or think about that. There we go. Okay. Hmm. I don't watch Gravity Falls, so Aiden and I actually made a bet. Um, it's not Gravity Falls, but this is kind of relevant. Um, so on our Fortnite stream, I believe when this goes up, our Fortnite stream will have already happened. So. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Hey, sweet. I get the rats. Rats. <laughs> and just as I was about to do this conveniently exposition thing. <laughs> oh, I can get this other thing up. Mm. Wee! <laughs> Big boy boost. Alright. Um. Anyway, yeah, so Aiden and I were planning the thing. If Aiden can win the bet on the uh, thing, I have to watch Steven Universe with him. <laughs> so, that's gonna be fun to not watch it because he's not gonna win. You say that now. I, I'll be saying that uh, when this goes up, too, because you're not gonna have won. We'll see how well this comment we'll is. Whoa. It's just awesome. Oh, frick! <laughs> That's difficult. Oh, yeah, you're approaching uh, escape velocity. And you're just building up. <laughs> Is that a JoJo's reference? Wrong episode, but... Okay, that was that episode went up a long time ago. We can't say that here. If you did watch that episode fully, we're sorry. Okay, my jump just kind of gets eaten into the abyss, but... <laughs> Too bad. You're right. Too it's bad. Too bad. When you playing this game, don't want you to tell a story. Um. So I do want to tell a story about my robotics teacher and like a stuffed cat. So basically, we had this. It was like I don't even know what it was made of. It, it was kind of hard, but it was like furry on the outside. Don't make it furry. Go. Um. Whoa. Oh, frick! Frick! What the heck? I thought it was like. <laughs> That, that was a good bonk, though. That was like a, yeah, pretty solid. What do you know? Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, my robotics teacher had this, like, weird cat thing that was in his room, and he didn't like it. It, like, creeped him out or something. I know people have weird cat things, too. But... So, every time we would go into his class, we would move that cat onto his keyboard, and he would, like, move it every <laughs> single time. And, like, it was like, who put this here? No one would say anything. And he's like, all right, I, I'm going to, like, I'm going to destroy this thing if you keep putting it on my keyboard. <laughs> and we all thought he was joking, because that's, like, the type of joke that he would make. That's just... Um, and wow. one day, we had his calculated. keyboard, and he was in a particularly bad mood, and he literally took this thing and ripped it in half. And it's, like, not something that you can easily rip in half, either. And he ripped it in half and threw it wow. in the trash can, and he, all he said after was, any questions? <laughs> You're gonna love Cedarville. <laughs> this isn't great. Cedarville, this was Circleville when I was there. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. It was a guy named Mr. Tom. He was a great teacher, but it was like... I, I don't know what happened with that specific day. Did his parents not love him enough? Oh! Yeah. Ooh, that was the gamer climb. Great. Okay, wow, that was more difficult than it should have been. Wow. Um... Anyway, yeah, that was the, another teacher, too. He had a big container of zip ties, so every time I could, like, get some, I would literally zip tie people's book bags to the desks. Or, I, I one time I zip tied, like, just put one around his telephone that he had in there. Could and put I, one around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I came in there later that day, and someone's like, Mr. Thomas, this is hard. He's like, you know what's hard? Ripping a zip tie off on a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's okay. The, okay, the robotics teacher at our school... Used to be Mr. Hampton, and then he moved because he, I don't know, he got like a job as a pastor or something. I don't know. 
And now we have Mr. Kamer, who used to be my favorite substitute teacher. Mr. Kramer. Kamer. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so we're, we're in class, right? Because our teacher in sixth grade was prego for like all the years. Um, she like wouldn't stop having children. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I feel pretty good for her husband. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Back to Mr. Hamer, so we're like on our phones, and he's like, hey, you probably shouldn't be on your phone, and we're like, okay, we don't even put it away, and he's like, okay. <laughs> so that, that's how he was back then, nowadays, he's like, hey, uh, Mr. Hamer, we have like a lot of homework, so is it okay if we like did some of it during class? He's like, alright, you can take like the last 25 minutes to do it. Oh, okay, in my 30 minute class period. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, really? Anyway, that's our, yeah, robotics situation. New Hope is just going to shambles. Hmm. Alright, is it my turn? Oh yeah, no, we need to talk about New Hope, because the last time we tried to do that on Sunshine, our recording, like, imploded, so... I mean, and no one watched it, so it's, it's fine, we can talk about we it again. We can talk about it again. <laughs> so, we were talking, I think I mentioned my sign language teacher, and, uh... Mrs. Adams. Yeah, Mrs. Adams. The other story that I didn't mention is that she was my 7th grade ELA teacher. Or, uh, Sucks. It was either history or ELA. They kind of blended them together, but it was really oh. funny because... Don't ask. <laughs> we read a book called Johnny Tremaine. It was the <laughs> Johnny <most> Tremaine. <laughs> boring book. Did you ever read it? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was not a fun book to read, I'll say that. It was about Ooh. some kid who, like... Got his hand melted off, or no, I don't know. Some great know. <laughs> Some Some literature is the best. Let us know. <laughs> Did you read The Boy in the Striped Pajamas for school? What the frick kind of thing? Alright, uh, no, I never did. Oh. <laughs> that was about, uh, Jewish people and Nazis, and it was just a saying how gamer type of book. What the frick kind of boat physics? This is. Boat. Why is it turning? <laughs> I'm spraying straight. That's what she said. Alright, I don't- oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the frick? Don't you love it when you just die? Me too. Wow, that drink. Wow, out. okay. I'm too just... bad. Too I have bad. decided oh. that I want to die. Oh, I gotta you know, you wanna just do the pachinko machine? I No, we're not we're doing the all... pachinko machine. Holy frick. We're never doing that, Aiden. Well, hmm. Let's talk about New Hope. Because if you ask one more time, no. Um, anyway... Good, that answer my next question, so we're good. Let's go back to this little... So anyway, um, I don't really have that many more New Hope stories, so do you have any other stories to tell in your eventful, eventful life? Um, okay, not New Hope stories, but I have stories. Okay. For you. So... <laughs> Ooh, Il Pantissimo. <laughs> I call, I used to call Il this guy Altissimo. Sick Pants, because he was like... Oh. So basically, just uh, Zelda. Anyway, so I do martial arts, Tom Fudo, uh, and as of right now, no. I'm uh, saying I am Il Pantissimo. Now we shall raise to that fly. It's not said two Pantissimo. No, it's ill. It's just capital I, lowercase <laughs> l, in weird font. Nice. Also, this guy just does this all the time. <laughs> By He's the way, the current energy. record is 35 seconds. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you ready to go? Uh, anyway, so I do martial arts, and right now I'm a blue belt, which means that I am basically one rank away from getting my black belt. So I'm almost there. And one thing that we have to do for- oh, crap. Oh, you're fine. Uh, anyway, there's one thing that we have to do when we get a blue belt, is that we have to come early and do conditioning. Ooh. That includes doing- oh, that was really fast. Yeah, if you just- Anyway, that includes doing like 100 push-ups, 100 crunches, 100 jumping jacks, and 200 center punches. And it, it, it's really not as bad as it sounds, unless you have really bad martial arts partners. <laughs> one, one person in my rank is the instructor's daughter, and she's like a 6th grader, and is really annoying. And it's really annoying because yeah, she's... Up. She started like a little bit before I did. So technically, she's higher rank than me. Wow. So she acts like she can boss me around with it. And just it's, kick her really hard and say it's martial arts. I, I've, I've thought about that, <laughs> but I don't really want to get kicked out of the class. I'm so Yeah, but if you so kick close. him, then you can't get her. kicked out. It's a her. No, if you kick the professor. It's a her. The professor's a her? Yeah. They kick everyone in the class, so <laughs> they can't kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's your dominance. So here I am, finishing out my set of push-ups. Like, 
Sweat is dripping down my head because I don't like doing push-ups. Uh, you were sweating because you didn't like it, or? No, because I had to do, I'm on like my 87th push-up right now. And she starts humming the Wheel of Fortune theme because she got done earlier than me because what? she did girl push-ups. And she didn't even do like, you know, hard girl push-ups where you do it on your knees and actually go down. I'm like she did this. knee push-ups and she went like down an inch, up an inch, and did like sets of 25 of those. Wow. And she started doing the Jeopardy theme song. And let me tell you, when I am like actively trying to work out and hit a goal and someone is there making noises that generally don't need to be made. I do not become a, what you may say, a happy camper. This is honestly and... new Spencer. <laughs> Every noise that Spencer makes is a noise that doesn't need to be made, quite honestly. So, yeah, I exactly. Mean, Spencer, I am roasting you, so suck it up for you. He's not going to watch this. He, um, he apparently ex occasionally watches apparently. our video. And, oh, I did like that uh, graphic change. Anyway, so How do I that happens. Women stay in the water. Frick, and frick! What the frick? Oh. It's so fast! Dude, you ah. can't even get to it. Oh yeah, you can. Never mind. No, it's outside of the thing! That's what I was thinking. I was like, what the heck? Huh. That is um, Welcome um, to Sunshine. <laughs> oh, I, oh I okay. You're good. Okay, okay, well of course right as it comes back out. Anyway, to wrap up my martial arts story, um we had to do hundred crunches for Oh, this is gonna be hard to like. Oh my goodness. Say. Okay, get away from me. Are we doing red coins? Okay. Frick! Ah! Ah! <laughs> that guy like, kills me instantly. <laughs> anyway, so we're doing crunches, right? And I'm trying to. Whenever I do conditioning, I don't do it just so I can like get it over with. I actually want to like build up muscle so it isn't excruciatingly hard at the martial arts test. Because we'll have to do like three hours worth of physical stuff. But... And you know, not being conditioned for that is not a good thing, because you don't want to pass out. Uh, and then meanwhile, we have my partner over here, who's lifting her neck off of the ground and counting it as a crunch. <laughs> and I, I tell her, hey, you actually have to do crunches, and she's like, I'm literally doing crunches. She's like, I actually did 75 in one set, because I can push myself, and it's like, Wow, what? don't push yourself too hard there. We wouldn't want you getting injured from lifting your neck too hard. <laughs> exactly. It's so annoying. Okay, all right, speaking of annoying people. So there's this girl in my class, um, a, Layla Robertson. I don't know who that is. Actually. It's okay. She was new a while ago. But wouldn't that make her old? She is, she is no longer new. That's a good point. Uh, she was new enough that you wouldn't know her. Fair. Anyway, so we're like sitting in any class and she'll look over at me and whenever someone stares at me I generally look back at them like why are you staring at me? Well, whenever I look back at her She looks at me with the biggest face of disgust that I've ever seen like why are you looking at me? <laughs> and like she talks about it to like all of her friends like why is this guy staring at me? And I'm I'm over here like you literally staring at me. It's <laughs> Dealing with the people at New Hope is mind-bogglingly difficult like I've met, like, actual didn't autistic people, and they are more retarded than that. Didn't didn't you say that New Hope literally has a shorter bus because... <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's... that's. The only problem I is that I have to ride that short bus. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Aiden, now you ride the short bus all the time. Well, no. We ride circle bus buses, so it's not... like They're normal now. Okay. But so you don't ride the We used to have a short anymore. bus. <laughs> um, ah, about right. But yeah, they're just so dumb. It's like the teacher said something, and then the, one of my classmates is like, "So what you're telling me is," and then he literally just recited exactly what the teacher said. It's like, yeah, she is saying what she just said. You're right. Wow. <laughs> Intuitive. Uh, <laughs> and that's that's my new hope rant with annoying people. Anyway. So it's not about New Hope, it's just about the people at New Hope. Well, it, it just defines New Hope. You can't have a school without It's the just students. the cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, there are some good classmates there that I don't want to blow my brains out when I have to talk to them. Then there are some that are, like, in a wheelchair because he broke his leg throwing snowballs at people who didn't ask how to throw balls. Snowballs be thrown at them. How did you break your leg throwing <laughs> That's a good something. question. That's a good how? question. How? That's like a new a really level of good just question. Like... So he's in a wheelchair and he's like speeding down the halls, running into people, and it's. Whew. Yeah, I don't like New Hope. 
Anyway, Dalton, do you have any more stories that you'd like to share? Honestly, if not, I have a ton more. This is this is your story time. I kind of dominated the last one, so I'll take it. <laughs> Domination. Um. Okay. So more. Okay. More new hope. I do have more new hope. Whoa. So. Whoa. I just. <laughs> wow. Where did where did you go? Oh, he's okay. Oh. Okay. So I take choir because. I'm gonna do music in the future, so I figured I'd do one thing in New Hope that's actually gonna help me in the future. Um, but the bad thing is, no one takes choir seriously. What? What, what was that? Uh, I think that he just bumped you there. He just like stood there and waited for me to get up just to like knock me down again. <laughs> that's a big Dang move. it, Dang this it. ain't over. <laughs> anyway, so we're doing this uh, arrangement of you will be found, what? It, it needed to spawn. You don't okay. understand it. It takes its time. I anyway, we're doing this arrangement of "You'll Be Found," which is a bopping song from the musical Dervin Hansen. If you haven't listened to it, you should listen to it. It's really good. That's real bopping, Larry. Um, <laughs> shut up. Uh, and I was like, "Hey, Mr. Rycliffe, our choir teacher, we should totally do this song." He's like, "Yeah." A couple weeks later, I come in. We get the sheet music and we begin to work on it, and I'm like, wait a minute. There is a difference between this and the actual song because this is crap. It is literally the worst arrangement I've ever heard. To quote myself on something that I said to one of my classmates, it's like someone who's never written an arrangement before and has never listened to the song and is also deaf tried to write this. That's how bad it is. It's just. In, this is like the one song that I wanted to do once in my choir. Like. My high school choir career, and I'm doing it. It's just gonna be really bad, and I'm not excited oh. for it. Ooh. Oh no. Nope. Where? There's something. There wasn't really a point to that story. I was just mad about it. <laughs> um, another story. Okay. Oh, let's this is a. Ooh, this is a Hayden Bear story. So we're at Pumpkin Show, which is what you don't if you don't know what that is, it's, it's down a, here in Circle, Ohio, we have this Octoberly yearly uh, festive festival. Not called a festival. Which show? If you call it a festival, uh, you know, the legend is get out of our town. Two pumpkins will come out and beat you up immediately. <laughs> yes, it happened. It happened um, to my grandpa. So exactly. <laughs> Anyway, so we're at the pumpkin show, all right, and I'm chilling with my girlfriend at the time, and he's not. He's not. And we have like a girlfriend at the time because you know he's desperately single. Hey, whoa, buddy. whoa, whoa! Uh, anyway, so and there's also like other groups of people with us, and we come across these like Chinese vendors who are selling like bootleg products. And back in the day. Me and him were super into Pokemon. Like, we had our own Pokemon YouTube channel for, like, unboxing stuff. What we went unbox? to a freaking, like, Pokemon cards. Oh, well, you're a nerd. <laughs> it, yeah, and then we went to, like, this tournament in, like, Indiana for it, and we both didn't do well. <laughs> only because they actually, the tournament overheads didn't actually know how to, like, run the tournament. We um, don't have that. Yeah. But anyway, so we're there, and we're, like, looking through all the Chinese stuff. So you got like your Crocs and your knockoff, well not knockoff AirPods because that was way before AirPods. Uh, what was back at the time in 2016? Wireless ear. Knockoff uh, Trump hats. There we go. What? <laughs> I don't. I, no. Oh, I can also tell my Trump man story. Anyway, not uh, really. We're out of time almost. Oh, okay. Last story. So we ditched the rest of the group. Spent fifty dollars on the fake Pokemon cards. They were a dollar each, and. Commence to get nothing but cheap cardboard out of it, and it's great. Like, that was probably the best $50 I've ever spent, just because it was so stupid and not worth my time, but it's just worth it. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, we're just gonna get this stuff. Wow, I've actually made decent progress. Now that I don't have to focus, I can let you do the commentary. Yay. Frick. Well, maybe we're doing one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't have many stories this time. It's been just boring for me, really. Bummer. You know. What so, how many more Shadow Mario's? Yeah, Mario's we could get. There's one per thing. You don't have to get them, really. You can. Wasn't it that we had to like get one of each and then we could do the final thing? I 
Just think about it. We could be done with sunshine. I honestly awesome? don't think you have to do that. I know there's a star total that you have to get, which is 70. 70? Yeah, we're at... How? This will be 30, though, so... <laughs> I, I don't care that it's wow. on episode 8, or 9, or whatever we're on. Episode something. I've lost track. These... We don't title them with, like, numbers anyway, we so... We don't, so it's like the one that it's like, oh, what episode are we on? We're on episode story time. Nice. Cool. Nice. The, 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 the fourth story time. <laughs> like I said, this is a good story time series, because it's just like yeah. me and Aiden chilling out with uh, Mario. Exactly. Mario and Lid. <laughs> Wait, did, uh, did you tell your Simon story? <gasps> Not yet. I think I'm going to save it, though. No, tell it now. Cause... Right now? Okay. So, uh, we eat lunch with Simon on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, and like bonuses. That, yeah, that's when he's like Simon's, at the Simon's not gonna watch this because the audio balance isn't perfect either. <laughs> anyway, so we're there, are right, eating lunch with him, and he takes out his lunch, and his mother still packs his lunch, which, if that tells you anything, um, about where the story is going to go. There we go. He takes out his lunch and realizes that there are only two of the- Would you just freaking fall? Thank you. There are only two of his usual desserts <laughs> when he gets four. And oh, he said, no! Did my mother really not give me as much desserts as I needed? Mother, you didn't give me ten desserts. How am I supposed to eat this lunch? <laughs> and like one day, um, I come in and he has like tortilla chips. And I was like, oh, cool, can I have a tortilla chip? He's like, no, these are very expensive tortilla chips that my mother got me for Valentine's Day. And I said, I ate cool. Don't you love it when your mom gets you some uh, nice crisp tortilla chips as a symbol of her love? <laughs> I do. Wait, my mom hasn't given me a tortilla chips. Does that mean so she doesn't love me? Did he actually say that? Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't say that, but he said that. Sometimes, okay, I would like to think that Simon is like the actual master of like sarcasm and wit. But some of the things that he says is just like, you can't actually say that and be serious, right? But no, oh, no. it was. He's, but the thing is, he's not the master of sarcasm. As an example, I said, we were talking about like, how he like got the crust taken off his bread. He's like, oh yes, the perfect way to eat this. I'm like, uh, um, no. no. It's like, crust is the best part. He's like, no, it's not. It's like, yeah, don't you eat your banana with the peel? And he's like... What are you talking about? Dude, that's not how you eat a banana. I said, uh, yeah it is. And he's like, no it's not. And that went on for a while, until I Whoa. eventually could not contain myself. So I had to say, dude, and being sarcastic, he's like, oh. <laughs> he just doesn't pick up on a lot okay. of jokes. It's really funny. Wow, that was pathetic. I'll show you my tiny white J for calculator. Oh my god, I still can't believe after we told him what it meant, he still I said, still, I, don't, I, I don't have really the smallest T-I-84, <laughs> even still, it's just like... At least he admits it. I mean, yeah, but he's not gonna not admit it, because that would be like... <laughs> I don't know, just, you know what, 1,000 sub uh, special, we're gonna each compare and then post it, the results. No. <laughs> I... no. Oh, yeah, I can get oh. this thing, alright. <laughs> Uh, I think that's episode. Uh, n no. Because I still have to, um... Oh, yes. Don't you love it when you do it and it doesn't do it? Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did something. Okay, cool. Huh. Yeah, you can... There's, like, other things you can do, too. But now I can finally get to the village. Pianta, so... Village... Other village people Woo! there? Do they like to sing YMCA? Shut up, Aiden. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching Sunshine. We got a lot of shines this time, so this might not be a long series. Well, relatively. <laughs>